Radio Free Cybertron. Transformers. Rewind. Surprise party this week on Transformers Rewind. The Autobots give Daniel a surprise birthday party, but the Combaticons are annoyed at not being invited, and so they attack. In the course of battle, Ultra Magnus trips and falls down, accidentally preventing Wheelie from being killed. Daniel and Wheelie are so grateful for this act of heroism, they want to throw Magnus a surprise party of his own, but nobody knows when he was created. They're told the information might exist on a lost Autobot storage asteroid. So Daniel and Wheelie steal a spaceship and head off on a grand adventure. Long ago, during a great war, the Autobots created an artificial storage asteroid. On the asteroid was data detailing the history of the Autobots to that point. Oh, oh my, oh my. If the Autobots survived, a homing device would lead them to the asteroid. If the Autobots were destroyed, at least their history and technology would survive. Well, was the data ever retrieved? What? Retrieved? No, no, the homing device failed long ago. Technical difficulties, I suppose. Yes, technical difficulties. Well, isn't it about time that it was retrieved? But, but there's been no directive to search. Well, what were the last known coordinates of the asteroid? Oh, well... I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you those. After all, you'd need a space shuttle to go there, and <laughs> who would give you permission for that? They end up caught in a meteor shower and crash land on an asteroid. Helpfully, the very asteroid they were looking for. Indigenous lifeforms manage to further drive them right to the front door of the archive. Inside, they're attacked by sentry drones for their bad syntax, but are soon saved by Cyclonus. Who's been following them ever since they stole that ship because he has absolutely nothing else to do except get beaten by Galvatron. Do as I say, or the sweeps will destroy you. What is this place? Uh, an ice cream factory. You are insolent, Earth Boy. <laughs> Thanks. Cyclonus decides to return the asteroid, Daniel, and Wheelie to the Autobots by sending it on a collision course with Cybertron, coincidentally now hosting a peace delegation. He radios ahead to tell Spike they're on the way, and he can either blow up the asteroid and kill Daniel, or let it hit Cybertron and kill the delegates, and still probably kill Daniel. But Ultra Magnus rides Skylinks over to the asteroid and goes Harrison Ford on the sweeps before beating on Cyclonus. Wheelie finds the self-destruct control, Cyclonus runs away, and everybody escapes in Skylinks as all the irreplaceable information contained within the asteroid is blown up. Daniel tells everyone what they are up to, and Spike then proclaims that very day is Ultra Magnus' birthday. Happy freaking birthday. This facility will destruct in two minutes. Foolish child, you'll destroy us all! Ah, I must flee! <clears throat> We've got to get out of here, Wheelie. No need to worry. We'll be gone in a hurry. Okay, that's a very exciting story, Daniel, but you still haven't told me what you were looking for on the storage asteroid. Well, Dad, we were looking for the record of Ultra Magnus' creation. Do you want to explain that to me? Well, we uh, wanted to throw a surprise party for him on his birthday. My birthday? I don't even know when that is. Say, I got an idea, guys. What's that? Why don't we just designate today as Ultra Magnus' birthday? We'll have a party tonight. <laughs> All right! What we really want to know, why we not think this up long ago? Happy birthday, Ultra Magnus! <laughs> yeah, 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 good, good! <laughs> let, me, let me give you a better summarization than that. Wheelie and Daniel spend an entire episode nearly getting themselves, Cybertron, everyone killed to have Spike at the end go, you dumb kids, we could just say it was today and have a party. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, this episode just really, to me, just sort of stings <laughs> of like being in a world without the internet. 
So they go up to Perceptor and like, hey, Perceptor, when's uh, Ultra Magnus's birthday? I'm like, I don't know. That's in the Hall of Records. Why don't you go to the Hall of Records and find out? I mean, there's like no concept of an interconnected network. <laughs> even, even, even if it's not connected to, like, their mainframe, he should be able to say, yeah, why don't you email Brainstorm over there, and he'll tell you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's just, like, glaringly obvious that, you know, the world it's has even changed. Worse. Once you get to the Hall of Records, it's even worse, because it's essentially a library. It's a library! Yeah, yeah with literal books. books, okay? <laughs> yeah, literal it's like books with paper. <laughs> Also, they don't have, like, I guess the capacity, like the extra kilobyte to have, like, birthdays stored. So they put it on an ancient asteroid. You know, they ran out of storage space. If, I I mean, if, if nothing else, that should be time zero. Ultra Magnus should just be able to rewind back to that point and tell you when that was. Oh, but but the, no, there's, there's a problem with that, though. If they ask Ultra Magnus when his birthday is, he'll know they're planning a surprise party for yeah, him. Yeah, dang it. They still get of to the end, will. and Ultra Magnus is like, hell, I don't even know when that is. <laughs> I, <laughs> guess, I guess if they're traveling around at relativistic velocities, I oh, guess, I mean, uh, it, it may, <laughs> dude, it, there may be some confusion, but, you know. Is it 1999? Are we on ATT? What the hell just happened? No. No, he's they go into mass. sub they go into they go into subspace. That's what happens. All the mass shifts to subspace. subspace. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Oh, no. It. But I mean, and then an asteroid, we shot all of our information onto an asteroid in the middle of no You know, oh, uh, like like I said, like I said before we started recording, this isn't a disaster. This isn't like Carnage and C Minor, it's not like a technically incompetent episode. It's just a stupid ass episode. That's basically what it is. Yeah, and I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's yeah. like instead of like having awesome stuff go on for twenty two minutes, it's like Wheelie and Daniel are hanging out and trying to plan a party. I mean, but it's, it's yeah, like but again, almost like a, killing everybody. At least like Clone has like a decent plan, you know. I mean. In terms of, like, dastardly effed-up plans, that's pretty messed up. You know, you get bad guy points for that. But the whole situation that led to it was just... Wow. It's like, they need to just tie Wheelie and Daniel to chairs and leave them there. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> I, I know, honestly, honestly, I prefer the Headmaster's Wheelie to, like, you know, the Season 3 Wheelie. He's kind of a little dick. Where, you know, Wheelie in, you know, season three is just an idiot. Yes. Yes. But man, this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty atrocious. It's pretty bad. You know, I mean, it's easy to understand the motivation for making it. We've got young kid human character, and we have young kid robot character. Well, let's put them together. And this, this was the result. <laughs> I love yeah, the other good part. <laughs> The other part of this episode where where we always like we should have surprise parties for everybody, and Spike <laughs> tries to explain. He's like, "No, you can't do that." You see, and then that's when all the stuff goes down. But here's the okay. Here's the other part of the episode that doesn't make sense, right? Spike is all concerned because they got to get the shuttles repaired because they all got attacked and partially blown up. Then how the hell did Wheelie and Daniel find a whole hangar bay for a shuttle somewhere to go? Well, those, those, in the middle? those were the garbage trucks. No, nobody wants to drive the garbage trucks. But still, it's like, if you needed... I mean, Spike was sitting there like, well, now I can't get to the peace conference. you got four different Transformers that can turn into intergalactic space transport. You've got an entire hangar full of garbage trucks. Like, what? Because you don't have a shuttle? You're effed? What? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! This episode sucks. <laughs> no one thought when they wrote it. That's the problem. Well, they had forty-eight hours to turn around a script. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> they spent forty-four of them drinking. <laughs>